you guys can see what's on my table. All right, so I have the art workbook for fifth grade right here on my table, so you guys can see it. Um, so what you're gonna do is I wanna flip to the page that we're gonna be currently working on, and that's facial proportions. So you can see that, and it looks like this right here. Facial proportions like this, should look like that. All right, great. Um, if you ever have a chance later on, either today or sometime this week, if you want to test this out, if this all works, sometimes people have this uh, paper with them and they look in a mirror and they see if everything's correct. So say, for instance, if you, want to see, if you don't believe that your eyes are directly in the middle of your head, you can try to look in the mirror and see where the top of your head is, where the chin is, and see if it's directly in the middle. And you'll see that the majority of these facial proportions are basically 100% correct. So what I want to do, is I'm going to do um, a little activity with myself when it comes to drawing uh, a person. And the only thing you got to do is just watch. Okay, So you're just going to be watching today just for this first half. And then the second half, you can follow along. Okay, So for this first half, um, I'm going to pretend that I have no idea what these facial proportions are. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to get a blank sheet of paper right here. And then I'm going to do my best to try to draw uh, a portrait without using any proportions that I know to my knowledge. I mean, I do know some stuff, but I'm going to pretend I don't know anything. Okay, so here's my chin. A little lopsided, my bad. So I am trying a little bit. There's the top of the head. All right, so I'm thinking that the eyes are probably right here. Ooh, my eyes are a little bit sharper than I thought. My bad. That's okay. I'm thinking that the eyes are kind of like this. It's hard to draw in Sharpie. If you guys remember that from uh, when you guys had to do those uh, portraits on the index cards for your t-shirts, your fourth grade t-shirts. So it's, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with Sharpie, but it's okay. I'm thinking that the nose is right here. I'm thinking that the mouth is probably right here below. And I'm gonna add the eyebrows right here. And then for my hair or someone's hair, doesn't have to be me. I'm thinking it's probably over here somewhere like that. All right, so I'm gonna just draw a neck just to finish it off. All right, there we go. So this was my quick, I don't know how long you think that took me, like three, minutes, three or five minutes of a portrait. And what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna try to grade it as best as I can using Markers, so you can see. So let's just take a look at what this facial proportions worksheet is trying to tell us. So over here, it's telling us that the eyes should be directly in the middle of the page. So if I just take a marker and try to mark that, so here's the top of the head, here's the bottom of the head, the middle of the head is right around here. So they're telling me that the eyes should go right there. I'm way off. But the picture looks good. So what's going on? I don't know. We'll find out. Now, they're telling us that the hairline is between where the eye starts and the top of the head. So that line is from here to here. So that middle point is right around here. They're telling us that this line right here should be the hairline. So mine is a little bit low. Sorry, a little bit high. My hairline's right there. Let's see. What's more interesting? They're saying that the eyebrows are between the eyes and the hairline, so that line's right around here. They're saying that's where the eyebrow should go. Eyebrows. Let's see. The next line that they're talking about is the bottom of the nose. They're saying that the bottom of the nose is between where the eyes start and the chin. That line is right around, so here's the bottom of the chin. And then between the eyes and the chin, that line should be right here. They're saying that should be the bottom of the nose. I'm way off on that. And I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's it. So with these measurements and the guy that it is drew, if you just look at the black lines, it's still a good portrait. But they're telling us that my proportions are way off. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to follow the facial proportions and see if our drawing of people or portraits gets better or worse. Okay, so what I'm gonna do 
We can either find a blank sheet of paper, or we can find the back of one of these unused uh, pieces of paper in your workbook. So there's a bunch of unused pages right here. You can use the back of the lettering page, the back of like the color wheel page. All you gotta do is find a blank, blank sheet of paper, and you can follow along. Let me use, hmm, let me use this one right here. This one's a little bit easier. All right, so what I want you to do is this. I want you guys to draw an oval and then the neck. If you want to copy the facial proportions worksheet, you can. But I think the facial proportion worksheet has the oval a little bit too ovally. So I want to make sure I draw my head a little bit better. Here we are. Nice and round. I'm going to draw my neck. There we are. There we go. So I have my beginner copy right here. And I can see that I got a bunch of stuff wrong over here. It's telling me the correct proportions. And over here, I have my practice sheet. OK, now let's try to do this together as best as possible. If you have a blank sheet of paper, then they're great. Now, it's telling us that the eye should go directly in the middle of the page. So if you don't believe it, just try it out, see what happens. So here's the middle of the face. On mine, I'm going to draw the eyes right where it tells me to. I'm going to draw one eye here, and one eye on the other side. And notice how it's, it's directly in the middle of the oval. Here we go. There's one eye. Here's another eye. There we are. Perfect. It looks kind of creepy still, but let's try to trust this uh, facial proportion worksheet. All right, they're telling us that the hairline is between the where the eyes start and the top of the head. So that line for me is right around here. So I'm going to try to draw the same exact hairline I did for the other guy. I think it was kind of like this. It kind of goes inwards a little bit and down. I'm going to try to copy that symmetrically as best as I can. All right, there we go. I am at this point going to add the ears. Uh, the ears do have a, pr a proportion that I probably talked about before, but we'll skip it for now. I am going to kind of create a little bit of the outside of the hair. Because as you guys know, hair does puff out from your head a little bit. And I think that's where people kind of mess up the most. And that's why they probably think that the eyes are misplaced the wrong spot. There we go. Next up, it's telling us that the bottom of the nose is between where the eyes start and the chin. So that line is right around here for me. So I'm going to put that as the bottom of the nose. I'm going to create like a small curve right there. And then try to curve up. There we go. There's my nose. Then they're telling us that the eyes, or sorry, the eyebrows are between the eye line and the hairline. So right around here, so they're telling us that's where the eyebrows are. I'm going to draw those into my picture. Oh, it's a little off, but it's okay. And last but not least, before we run out of time, because I do want to give you guys an opportunity to share some artwork, they're telling us that the mouth is one third of the way down from the nose to the chin. One third is probably right around there. I'm going to create the bottom half of the lip and the top half. All right. I'm basically done. If I do a little bit of editing with an eraser, I can kind of try to erase some of these lines here, such as the top oval inside the head, maybe some of these horizontal lines, just to clean it up a tad, tad bit. Now, so we can try to see what happened here with my drawing. You guys can see that this 
was following the directions of the facial proportions. And this one right here was not following them at all. So you can kind of see that my drawing got way better personally. Um, if you guys didn't get better, then I suggest you kind of like do your own thing. But uh, basically, this is what happens when you follow proportions when it comes to portraits. And that's it. So that is my tutorial for face facial proportions. It did take longer than I expected, but I just wanted to show you guys and prove to you guys that this chart does work. That chart does work. All right. Uh, with that said, we do have a couple more minutes. Does anyone want to share some artwork that they have been wanting to share with the group? Anyone at all? Just raise your hand, and then I will give you the floor so you can share anything you'd like. Anyone? Anyone want to share? No one, really? The last class had a bunch of people want to share. Gabriel, go ahead. Oh, wow. I forget what those things are called. 